Ooh, welcome and welcome back to the channel, guys. Real quick, I recognize this 2013 Chrysler 200. All right, supposedly some engine noise, guys. Some loud engine noise. Now, with this being a 2013, I want to say maybe the 24 multi air engine or you the the world engine. How many y'all? What y'all know about that uh, world engine? Uh, FCA used to use. Yes, that was a real good engine, guys. Uh, hardly had any problems with that engine. Okay, in fact, I never got to go inside one. That's how dependent they was. Okay, engine noise. Let's find out. First thing first, guys. Let's try to duplicate it. Let's see if I can actually hear some engine noise. Okay, I had the key right here. Oh, 145. A lot of people always want to know what the mileage was. Here we go. Whoa. Uh-oh, hold on, guys. Let's go on there. Uh, whoa, whoa, that is loud. Wait a minute. Can you, can you say alternator? Whoa! Holy crap. all righty guys <laughs> uh that one too let me turn that off before that pulley on that alternator decide to come off fall off or even fly off okay guys you got to keep in mind you are now responsible for this vehicle you was the last one to crank or to start this vehicle and let it run in the event something catastrophic happened in your possession you could potentially be blamed for it. So, now, let me backtrack. One of the first things you should have done, okay, and I am not following even my own rules. One of the first things I should have done. One of the first things anybody should do when diagnosing a complaint such as engine noise, which is what the complaint was on this particular car. Number one, first thing, guys, <laughs> let's verify the oil level guys we have to make sure the engine has oil in it again you do not want to be responsible for anything that may have occurred because you was the last one to start the car i did not do that i apologize but i highly suggest and recommend you do that on every complaint such as uh, engine noise okay yes verifying the oil level is crucial because guys this has happened uh customers will set up shops they will bring their car in with no oil and have it towed in with no oil once the mechanic go out to get it started up he don't know that there's no oil in it and it can lock up once it sees up in that mechanic's possession it's that mechanic and that facility's responsibility it happened on their watch that's why i'm a big fan of checking oil level on engine noise related complaints okay but as far as this car guy um uh, i'm not gonna even drive this in the shop guys um that is risky but i will however write up an estimate on replacing the alternator all right that what happened uh it could be a number of things guys the bearings you got to keep in mind how alternator is constructed but at the end of the day the part that the belt rides the pulley okay it's protected by bearings. You need some type of bearing rolling uh, mechanism to allow the alternator to rotate, turn, and spin to create its necessary power supply. Voltage. Okay, things like that. So, bearings fail. Bearing failure. Is the alternator still charging? Likely. The alternator can still charge, guys. The alternator can fail in a number of ways. One being the charging capacity is not working. Another being noisy, which is this case. So, back to my point. An alternator that's working could be extremely noisy. Or vice versa. Okay, they can fail in a number of ways. But in this case, in many cases, whichever one fail will require the complete alternator replacement. Now, can you get bearings for it? I'm sure you can, man. But don't nobody do that anymore. Don't nobody want to go through all that. You just assume get an assembly. Alternator and assembly. That way you can carry a better warranty. Get a better warranty. 
Okay, so guys, uh, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna go write up an estimate on the alternator. If they buy it, good. We're gonna go through the procedure on replacing it, and also I'm gonna, we'll look the car over, guys. But I can't, there's only so much I can look over without the car being in the air. So my main objective is to get the car in the shop and in the air. But I wanna, we'll see how it work out, guys. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. I will be right back. All right, guys, I got approval to replace the alternator now. Let's see if I can make it in the shop, guys, without this alternator pulley coming off. We gotta move quick. Oh, y'all hear that? Oh, oh, that is loud. Oh, no, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, Lord, I don't wanna do high RPM, so I better go slow. All right, guys, the camera's rolling just in case something catastrophic happens. I will have proof that I was just normal, regular driving, trying to get in the shop. I'm almost there, y'all. I'm almost there. Will I make it? Will I make it before that pulley finally snap? There's the shop doors. Open, open sesame. Please, I don't have no time to waste. Yes, it opens. Oh, I have a stall right there, guys. Can I get in there? Can I make it in time? Oh no, I hope I don't have to back up and I will have to back up. Guys, I'm running out of time. That pulley only has so much longer it can hang on. Will I make it? Line the car up, get it straight. Guys, get it right in the center of the lift and shut it off. Oh, I heard, I heard the belt. Guys, let's go look. I heard the belt shriveling. I think I turned it off just in time. Let's take a look. Uh-oh, I can smell it. Woo, y'all can't smell it, but I can smell it. Yep, look at that. <laughs> Just in freaking time. Y'all see that? The belt is now wedged behind the alternator. I got in here. Just, I heard the belt shriveling as I was... Wow. Y'all, this didn't look like that when I was outside. So, imagine... I see that? Imagine if I'd have left it idling outside. The belt is right between the alternator. The pulley. Look at that. All of that over there. Woo! I made it. Alright, at least I'm in the shop. I don't have to push it. Now, I got parts. As far as parts go, I got a belt anyway. Uh, I never reuse. Uh, in fact, let's go over the parts. Y'all see the weights right there. Every now and then I got to sneak and get one in, guys. All right. Um, right before I go eat lunch, I try to get some uh, exercise in. Okay. What do we have here? I assume this is an alternator. Yes, they want the core back. Why? I guess so they can rebuild it. Mm -hmm. So... What we gonna do? Come on, you stupid box. Yes, brand new all native guy. Which makes sense. Yep, right here. And this is not uncommon. This happened a lot, guys. Especially on this car. I don't know what it is about this car and these alternator, but the pulley is shot. Now, I got a new belt. And I played it smart from the last time. I had to call the customer back because of Isla Pulley was noisy. And I was like, no, this will not happen on my watch. I cannot give her her car back. Guys, these fairly easy to test. Just spin them. If it goes, replace it. All right, I got that. It's two Isla Pulleys on here. And there is also a tensioner. Okay. So, guys, I got work to do, man. <laughs> I barely made it in the shop. Oh, my goodness. I got work to do, guys. Let's get it. Whoa. Whoa. All right, guys. I hope I didn't ruin nothing. I'm going to have to get a razor blade and cut all this. Oh, man. Oh, goodness gracious. That is on there. I hope I didn't jack that up. I had to get a razor blade. Some cutters and just start cutting. Oh. 
Alright guys, this one is fairly hard to get all the belt off, so what I have to do is go to plan B. And that is to simply remove the pulley. Alright, yeah, I'll be all day trying to cut all this off, so let's take the whole pulley off. Uh-oh. Yeah. Woo. It didn't get behind the seal, guys. So I didn't damage the seal. And I don't think I damaged the pulley. But now I can get all this off, guys. So just wanted y'all to see what you may have to do in the event this happened. All right, let me finish taking care of this, guys. Stay tuned. Let me get started, guys. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is get this pulley off. So, and then get this bracket off. Uh, get this compressor out the way. All right, guys, let's force the compressor. Like I say, there is three bolts holding the compressor. Here's one, I got one off. You don't have to do some finagling to get these uh, 13 millimeter bolt heads off. Got one left, we gotta get that off, and then we gotta get the bracket off. All right, so let's get this one last bolt off. All right, so the compressor's dangling. Now let's get this bracket out the way. Got the bracket out the way. As you can see, that give us some more room. So now I can finagle this compressor. So we get the alternator bolts loose and the alternator should squeeze right through here. All right, so let me get to work. All right guys, we got the last bolt out of the alternator right here. So as you can see, the alternator is hanging on for dear life it's basically off but it's held on by one more bracket so what we got to do in order to get some clearance it's an old alternator so it's okay to beat on it all right guys this one's pretty stubborn so what you got to do is remove the uh, this look like an AC accumulator or dryer uh, one of the two but you got to remove it from the frame that way you will be able to lower com the compressor low enough to get the alternator out as you can see the compressor is dropping down so from there, you should be able to finagle this alternator out of here. All right, guys. So as you see, you do not have to discharge the AC system. Just remove the accumulator or dryer uh, in order to relocate the AC compressor. You just want to move it down out of your way. And from there, I have to bring the alternator out from the bottom. Okay. So you just finagle it and it will uh, come right out. All right. So here you go, but you can see what I had to remove. Just get the compressor out your way in that bottom bracket, and you should be able to finagle the alternator out through the bottom. All right, guys, here we go. As you can see, I have the new alternator on. The system is now fully charging. Okay, I got a new belt and both new idler pulleys. All right, here go the old alternator, guys. Let's take a look at something again. This is uh, look at this. Wow, this was about to come off, and that is what's caused this. Now, this could have been avoided that yeah, we towed the car in the shop, guys. So, I need you guys to be mindful of <sighs> your surroundings and whether you should attempt to drive the car. Remember, you don't want nothing to happen in your possession, right? This could have easily been catastrophic had I not made it inside and stopped. Okay, y'all saw the early part of the video. But anyway, uh, yes, I don't know. Uh, just a poor quality alternator? I don't know. Uh, anyway, they got a new one. Can you replace this? I'm not sure you can even find the parts, but you just you, you stand a better chance of going in with just a new alternator assembly. All right, that's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching.